Today's show is sponsored by Kermit. Yeah! Hey guys, me host Super Zero. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got! It's the Muppets. <laughs> it's the Muppet Show tonight. Doom, 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 doom. Ah, uh, we've got the Muppets, and this is Diamond Select Toys as Kermit the Frog. It comes with Kermit, Bean, and Robin. Collect all the action figures also available. You can get Fozzy and Scooter and Gonzo and Camilla. There's also many others as well, as you've seen. We, we have Muppet Labs on the desk all the time all these days. And we've also got some grumpy Muppets in the corner. <laughs> but right now, we're going to crack open Kermit the Frog. This one I've been waiting for for some time. I can't wait for this little, this little thing to be over outside that I can go action figure photography again. And I want to go to a nice lake area in the woods and take some photos with Kermit down by the stream. Kermit's going to be so awesome. But guys, let's break him out of the box. Let's do this. I was a big fan of Kermit the Frog growing up. I was a big fan of uh, Sesame Street when I was little. And then obviously as I, as I got older, the... I kind of then found the Muppets, which also had Kermit the Frog. So I was able to uh, still enjoy them. And do you know what? I still enjoy the Muppets to this day because there's a lot of jokes in the Muppets that go over the top of king kids' heads. And to this day, my favourite Christmas movie of all time is still the Muppets Christmas Carol. Such a great movie. Need the scissors. Okay, there's a fair few things to get out of this one. Here it is. Yeah. So we have the little director's chair that most people right now are saving. But people are buying these online and stuff just for this chair. Because Marvel Legends Stan Lee comes out real soon and there's been people on the internet taking photos of Stan Lee on this really fancy chair. With it being like a director's chair, a lot of people are actually saving this for uh, Stan Lee to sit on it. Yes, he does fit on it. So a lot of people said he won't fit, but he does. And then we've got a little stool. As well, since, since I was a kid, I've always I've always been a lover of uh, of sort of like musicals. <clears throat> And the Muppets films were always, they always had musical numbers in them. And do you know what? I know it was it was sung <coughs> at, the, uh, at, the, at the at his funeral and stuff for um, Jim Henson. But I still love the song Rainbow Connect Connection to this day. I love that song. And they recently re-released it um, uh, for the coronavirus and the, the, the Muppets uh, on their YouTube channel Kermit did a re-release of the song recently so that's worth checking out right guys I'm going to cut the video here because there's a lot of rope ties on these little Kermit the Frog so I'm going to be a little wild doing this so I'll be a few moments guys I have someone to introduce you to it's me Kermit D Frog <laughs> yeah <laughs> Today's show was sponsored to you by the letter B. <laughs> oh, wow. So we have Kermit the Frog, guys. We can make him look down as well as up. Left and right as well on that hinge. His arms do lift up at this top hinge here. There's also, also rotation. You can make him move his arms in and out and stuff like that. The pins are very small, so I am very scared of breaking them. But his hands are on little ball joints, and you can rotate them around, and his hands are on ball joint as well. Other than that, his legs, they don't lift outwards, but they do go forwards, backwards, with a little knee hinge there, and the feet can rock and pivot as well. There is no uh, holes in the feet, so you can't place him on a stand, and he, he is very, very, very top-heavy with that big belly and the, little, and, the, and the head and stuff. It does create a, quite a tricky situation trying to get Kermit to stand, but he eventually does with plenty of articulation. <laughs> Kermit D Frog. <laughs> Perfect little figure. So for now, let's go place him in the director's chair where he can sit there and relax and wait for the show to begin. Come on, Bean, it's your turn to be on camera. Okay. Then we got Bean. <laughs> oh, I'm right here. 
running away. You're running away? I'm running away forever. Did he say forever? <laughs> I love being, by the way, if you haven't been to what to Walt Disney World, that's one of the one of the cheesy lines from the uh, the Muppets uh, Labs, no, the Muppets uh, 3D show. <laughs> I ain't seen it so long. I can't wait to go back to Florida and rewatch re it. It's cheesy, but it's the Muppets, and I love it. So yeah, you have been. If you kind of keep them like that, it does look like just like the TV show. I love it. <laughs> okay, can I go down now? You can go down now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and then of course we've got Robin as well, the little Kermit. The little frog. You might know him better as Tiny Tim in the uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> so there he is, there's the little puppet as well. He does actually have some rotation as well. Um, his head's static, but the arms do lift up and down as well, sort of in and out a little bit. His legs can't, don't seem to move though, they just rotate around a little bit, I think, but nothing too crazy. They don't go forward or backwards or anything. Other than that, he's pretty much just a standard little model. Thing is, I didn't buy this for uh, Bean and Robin, so they are going to be pretty much just left in the bottom of the toy box, to be honest. They are cute, but I might find some use down the line for Bean. But um, yeah, he has some, some articulation looks. You can move his arms forward, things like that, and the little legs do sit forward. You can sit him down and stuff, so. Be able to hide him in some stuff. And I might I might do some actual photography with him because he's kind of cute. And you can rotate his head left and right as well. The, the other parts of the uh, the set that we got was a banjo. His classic ukulele. Is it a ukulele? No, is it a ukulele or is it a steel banjo? I think it's a steel banjo, right? Not quite sure. No, it's just got to be a steel banjo, I don't think. See, it's got the, the metallic sound when he plays... Um, he plays the songs on it. And he also comes with a little stool and a little tiny log. I wish the log was bigger. It's very small. I wish that it made a slightly larger log that you could have sat on. I mean, you can sit on that, but it just doesn't look very... looks very small. And his legs kind of dangle and it makes it a little bit awkward. What you can do is put the little the stool behind it and have him sit down on the stool. And bend his little legs and put those over over the log. And it kind of makes it a little bit easier. It makes it kind of look like he's still sat on the log without being sat on the log, if that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this figure. So let's head, head on down to the desk cam! Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? <laughs> so there he is guys on the little Still on the stool, but on the log kind of thing. It looks kind of cool. Like, like you can't really tell when you've got the right angle on the camera. It just, he just sits better on that stool than he does on the little log. I wanted to, I'm beginning to think if the log's for Bean or something, because it is that small. But uh, it is nice, nonetheless. I wonder if I can get a proper, light log. And then again, when I, when I take him outside and I'm in the actual outside environment, all I'm going to need is Kermit and the Banjo. And he's going to be able to play some great... He's going to be able to good, get some great shots of him. Sort of singing along to himself. And of course, you can see the other guys in the background there. Hey, guys. <laughs> but yeah, this Kermit the Frog is very nice. The paint is very cool. There is a few issues. So around the eyes and stuff, as you can see on the bottom of the eye, there is some white on the green, which is annoying. And in the mouth itself, there is like a little... I can't get the camera to focus. There is like a little fleck on the inside of yellow on the inside of the mouth, which is doing, which is annoying me a little bit. Again, I can fix that pretty easily with a little dab of green paint or red paint. We'll fix that straight out. The banjo's nice. There is a little bit of, like, scuffage here, where it looks like he's missing paintwork. So, I mean, I might have to retouch that with some silver. 
And the log itself is very nice and the rest of Kermit is all really fine. He's got some great articulation for a tiny figure. It really is a nice Kermit the Frog. So what, so what do you guys think? Are you a fan of Kermit? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear back from you guys and what you guys think. Are you saving that chair in the background as well for uh, Stan Lee? Let us know in the comments. So if you enjoyed today's show, guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Any last words for you, Kermit? Yeah, today's show was sponsored to you by the letter subscribe. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe, hit the like button on the way out, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> thank you very much, Kermit, and thank you to everyone who wa uh, uh, watched the video and enjoyed it. I know it's been cheesy, but I've had fun. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, do all that good stuff for me. It really supports this channel so much, and it's free to do. So please do it. Leave us a comment down below on what figure you want to see us review next. And I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. 